Hey y'all, this is part 12, and we're removing and adding elements in general. Uh, as we discussed in the last videos, Splice is a very uh, dynamic tool. And what we mean by that is that it can do a very uh, wide array of things in one motion. And so what we're going to demonstrate now is a case where we want to remove a number of elements and then insert another number of elements. Now, in this example, we're removing two and adding two. And I believe this example has that as well, but you don't want to necessarily assume that you have to delete and remove the same number. You could delete more than you're adding, you could delete less. It, it doesn't really affect what's going on. The order of the arguments does. So let's have a look at it without any real context. Here's an array. We have two mistakes, which are conveniently labeled mistake one and mistake two. We're going to say array.splice. So we'll begin splicing at index three, which is going to be here onward. We're deleting two elements, which is going to be these two elements here. And that's, that's this uh, argument tells us that we're going to delete two elements. And then all the elements that, sorry, all of the arguments that follow uh, this two argument, this uh, no, value of two, are going to be elements that we're adding to the array at the index we were like uh, splicing. So if we run this, we'll see that we have a nice one, two, three, four, five, six, because we've deleted these two elements beginning at index three, and then we've inserted four and five. And of course we insert those in order. Let's talk about some more lunch items. Just to give a little bit more specific context. So we've got lunch items of turkey sandwich, falafel, paella, processor speed, RAM, and gyro, or gyro, or hero. Anyway, uh, variable index of the first item to be removed is going to be three, which starts here. Uh, number of items removed is two because processor speed and RAM are neither of those are lunch items. And then we're going to add fish tacos and pizza. So here's the call to splice where we tell it the index we want it to remove, the number of items to remove, first and second items to be added. So if we run this, we'll see that the list of lunch items is now a nice fancy list of lunch items. We are going to complete a function that takes in four parameters, an array, an index and two new elements. Removes two elements, beginning at the index, adds the two new elements, and returns the array. Now that's very awkwardly worded, but what is, we're essentially doing uh, what we just did in the docs, which is we have an array, we have an index, we have two elements that we want to add, and we're also going to remove two elements at the same time. Uh, your function should use the splice method to remove two elements from the input array at the given index, and then add or the grammar on this one is not great, and then add to the two new elements in their place, then return the array. Below are examples of the code running. Assuming that you will have completed the described function, apply splice. Go ahead and copy our stub. Copy our test cases, which I think we've demonstrated we've gone down here. We'll highlight everything. For those of you that don't know what that is, uh, when you try to highlight down like this, I've been getting this weird issue where you kind of have to highlight further than I think you should. And since I'm finicky and a curmudgeon mostly, I was upset enough about it to mess with it a little bit and figured out that you could highlight starting here and somewhere down here and end up getting all of the test cases. So, oh, we already pasted them in. So apply splice with 8, 9, 10, bad entry, bad entry, 13. Uh, at index three. Well, let's not worry about the specifics of each test case. Let's just assume that they're going to work as they should. Uh, we're going to remove two elements from the array at the given index. So array dot splice starting at the index and removing two elements. So now we want to tell splice what items should be inserted, if any. And in this case, we have two items to insert, item one and item two. Then return the array. Fair enough. Let's hit run. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Excellent. Let's go ahead and copy our now completed function. Paste it in. And we have liftoff. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you in the next one.